Okay, yeah. so here's here's the question for today. This was, okay, this is it. You ready? Yeah. Question for today. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, I have not heard this question yet. Just yeah, this so is really, brand new, right? Is... So so the question today that you have not heard is, has social media video making social media video changed your life? <laughs> because we are out here teaching real estate agents and business owners and people how how to do it, and we talk about it all the time. Like, has it changed us? Has it changed my life? Yes. yes. Okay. Has it changed my life for the better or worse? Um, I would say, man, that's a very layered re response, right? So, like, right, yeah. I mean, in there's... some ways, it's much better. Like, hey, like it makes you um, relevant in your industry because uh -huh. now you're like, hey, I know him. I know him. And there's that, the, at our, we're in sales, right? So it's like yes. no like and trust. Like, oh man, that barrier's gone. No like and trust. That is gonna now. I just have to worry about what I'm selling opposed to me, like me, right. the me barrier is gone, right? But the time it takes to do some of the stuff, the learning curve is like, there's been times where like, I don't know if this happens to you, okay. but you're sitting at dinner trying to wrap up a quick video that you filmed. Like, yes. hey man, I'm just like, yes. just a little tiny touch on this. And like, hey, be with us now. Yes. Like be in the Your moment. Your family is like, hey, we're sitting at dinner. Right, so like, can you be in the moment and be active on social media? I think you can. But it was, I guess that learning curve in the beginning was kind of like, hey, we have to find a way to organize that social media life along with the personal life. And yes. I think that was the struggle. Maybe some people that are social media uh, gurus or famous or whatever do it very well. Or they do life very badly. True. And well, because there's multiple. So you touched on like all the things, right? So business wise, absolutely has changed and for the better. Yes. Because. Not only engaging with people, being recognized. We were at an event today, and someone when all of a sudden they realized, like, oh, I know who you are. Like right. they, they kept looking <laughs> at us funny, and they finally realized who we were. And so, so that, so, so business wise, game changer. Like every real estate mm. agent, every business owner needs to do this so that they are recognized. It gives you a level of credibility when people recognize you. And then it's hard to be recognized in an environment with so much noise. It, it, absolutely, absolutely. So how are you supposed to be recognized? Yeah, and so much noise, and like you have to go. You have to where, go where they are, and where they are is on their phone from ten thirty to midnight before they go to right. bed. And now the other part you talked about is is true is from a business standpoint, it's changed for the better. Like I can't even like tell you how much better it is from a business standpoint. It's made our jobs easier. From a personal standpoint, it's weird because <sighs> first of all, it's like getting a new toy or a new project, and you just want to do. You're you're having so much fun, you want to do it. So. You neglect the, other things. People are like, why would you sit at dinner and edit? I'm like, totally understand because yeah. when you're creative, it's in your mind and you want to finish it right then. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got this spark. I want to finish it. Just a couple more touches. I can post this. Then I can relax. Now, we say we can relax, but what happens? We see something else. In the yes, moment. and that's, I think it's part of the, the ADD culture, right? Probably. Yeah. You know, it's, it's so, I mean, there's projects I've had in the past, not even social media, just normal. If I start something, it's like I know in my brain. If I don't finish this, it will not get finished. And I yes. want this to be done so badly that I'm going to finish it. Once I set it down, it's a half-finished project, and it's not going to finish. So I know, do it. Do it now, or it's not happening. Absolutely. Well, and we teach we teach that, right? Because if you back it up, and all of a sudden you have to edit 20 videos on Saturday, mm. none are getting done. No. It's like a CRM. If you oh, wait till you the, bring that sorry, up. If you wait till the end of the week, you're never going to update a CRM. You're going to do it as you go. And that's why videos is yeah. best to shoot it, <laughs> film it, edit it, post it. You're going to bring up CRMs, huh? I know. So but, it reminds me, I got to do that this Friday. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> is it almost Friday again? Right? So in that way, it's tough because I, I do have so much fun with it. The other yeah. part, though, is there's this weird pressure. Okay, this is sounds stupid. But it's like when you make a video, you kind of feel like this is probably going to be the one. Otherwise, you wouldn't have made it. No, I will agree. There's sometimes is it, I, that is, there's some truth film to that. Stuff it's like buying like, the lottery ticket. Yeah. This is this, the numbers. This, this I got to get this one. done because I had this thought right now and someone this else is, is going to beat one. me to it. I got to get this out yeah. this second. And that pressure is hard. I have a pressure of my, like when I'm editing one, it's like trying to get like a sound to match or the right lighting and mm -hmm. this and that or like, oh, I didn't get it right time on the raw footage and this and like mm -hmm. making it perfect and realizing that my short form video just didn't matter. No one's looking right. that closely to right. And a lot of times they're not even listening to the sound. No. They're just watching. And it's like a lot of the videos I do really tie into music. Like, you know, I, you know, you wouldn't put Star Wars 
uh, soundtrack to What About Bob, you know? Right, yes. Right? It just wouldn't... Although it'd be kind of funny. It would be, it would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> so... It was oh, like Let no, It Go no. goes to Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> like, that'd be fine. Frozen right. with Terminator music. So it's like those, you can't switch those. So I, I right. put a lot of this. Like I love time putting the music with the video. You do. You really like, you like that post part. Like you like the editing yeah. and tweaking it. And yeah. you love the getting a choreograph of sound and timing. Like and and I and the audience seems to like it according to the views. And it's like, but the, the, we go back to this. This is what I would say is I do it because I like it. Yeah. Not because other people like it. Right. It's like I enjoy the creative aspect of that piece, which keeps me involved. That is totally true. You couldn't do the volume that we do if you didn't like it. it would just, it's, it's tedious sometimes. It's, it's, it's sometimes exhausting. Like I can do two or three, and then I, like, I save them, put them in drafts or whatever. But I would, I would say that – and that it also – so playing into that, talking about, okay. hey, it changed my life. It's given me a creative outlet that I haven't had for a very long time. Yes. It's always been business – family right not right. family's bad i'm just saying business 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 family yes. uh sports uh all the things no. that we do right yeah. like what are we eating for dinner what are we we got this game this day we got this this day we got this band thing this day right now it's like oh so now i get to to get into a creative piece that as we get older sometimes we know like ah oh, they're old so they're not as creative as they used to be right so i'm practicing the those I'm well and i've always on. been creativity is how i recharge my batteries that was always been more my yeah I, so it's so nice to be able to do a sh the shorts yeah. in the film. Like it does, it, it recreates, yeah. you know, like when I was younger making movies and doing those yeah. kind of things. I loved all that. There's no time for that. I did some, family and work. I did some movie stuff. And like Combine it together. When I was a long time ago, when I was a kid and like high school kid, I had a, we had a VHS camera, you know, the big ones. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. Over and so show. and I would do camera edits on that. For fun and show and show my brother and whatever because we yes. we skateboarded right so we had that already and like, yeah you know what I dressed in a, like all black and I would make things float and like yeah. I, put a, I put a black sheet up and I would make <laughs> things float like how did you why is that floating and I said it was just with VHS is like very like what is that like yeah the seven twenty yeah that it wasn't was like three hundred p or something four k yeah so you could like that, was it was <laughs> so it was a bit grainy and it worked so I was playing with that stuff back then and, and thought it was cool and so this. You know, revolve, evolve. Well, I remember like playing here. Uh, doing edit VCR to VCR and pausing. Like, oh, know, I never got I that. Used to, into we record it. and then pause and then switch out. So yeah, we didn't we have the that. resources, I guess, to, to oh, really multiple get... VCRs all over. Yeah, the place. we didn't. Just, we weren't able to do it, so I just played with it, and we would do different camera tricks. But you know, you go into now, like, hey, I, I do want to be creative, right? And yeah. so it, it helps with me um, seeing things and like, ah, now. Now I'm involved in my family's life, but instead of just the breadwinner kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I felt like I go here, I work, I make money. I go here on the weekend because I'm supposed to take them to his place. Right. And but now it's combined like, all of it together. Yeah. So now I have like things to talk about. I get people. I had a, so, oh, so this weekend at a football game, okay. I was at a high school football game. I, I'm a, I'm the band dad. So I'm right. doing all the yep. band stuff. I'm on the field yep. and I walk by, I hear a guy yell out uh, to me, he yelled my name and I'm like, and I look up in the crowd and I see this guy. And he goes, "Are you guys? Are you making more videos?" <laughs> and I said, "Maybe." I wasn't like I was kind of like in the mood of like it's Friday after work. I was like trying to zone out of work, and I'm like, "I was. I, I might make something." He goes, "Oh, your videos are great. I love them. That's keep awesome. doing them." And I was like, "See, that's awesome. Thanks." <laughs> so <laughs> I'll forget about it, and then someone will talk to me about an idea for a video, and then I'm like. Oh, you're wanting me to make that video. Like, <laughs> like I'm thinking they're talking about a video they're going to make, but no, they're just sharing oh, yeah. an idea they had. So, like, maybe I right. want to make yes, that video. I'm like, that's actually pretty cool. So, the shorts things works because you can do it quickly. Yes. I've noticed that we started the long play stuff with the, on YouTube, and, and it takes longer. Hard. And it uploads longer and just different things. you mm -hmm. got to put some – it's a different um, mm -hmm. kind of descriptions and different things like that. So, yes. And there's different uh, settings – so I think that's what makes shorts so cool is like I can – like that. And comparatively, like instead of spending three hours, yeah. I'm spending you know maybe 20 minutes. It's an instant gratification, and you kind yeah. of know instantly what's yeah. how this one's going to do. Like yeah. you, now every once in a while I get surprised, and one will be dead for 24 hours, and then it will catch. Yeah. Most of the time I know within the first hour is this video going to – where is yeah. this going to go? Especially TikTok, you hit your first 200, and then you get yeah. to your 800, and you get your 1,200. <laughs> So you can kind of tell. Uh, what's funny about video, and this is going to sound weird to say this, I'm already a pretty confident person, pretty positive person, so I don't necessarily 
suffer with the camera shyness that a lot of people do, right? I do. But I will say this. Yeah. It's made me more confident, which you'd almost think making videos would make you less confident because people are looking at you, but we're doing something most people can't just do. And we're, yeah. getting po we're not popular with it, but we're getting successful with it. And we're, you know, you just became a, a cap cut template creator, creator yeah. which is getting paid for that. I'm like, who would have thought that 60 days ago? I would have. I right? would be like, I'm not doing it so at all. So all of a sudden yeah. you have this knowledge of how to do something most people can't do. And it's they want to do. And they want to do. And so it does. It You're the reason that I do it like, anyway. That kind of made you. Yeah, you did. I, I have to I give you credit. On we we were talking about like the first day at work or the first week at work or whatever. You're like, hey, first, we're doing a video. We're I'm making like, a video and you got to come in. And that was an internal video for the company. It wasn't even any of the short. We didn't even know about it. Anymore. No, it, it was all for it. Yet. So it was pretty funny that I'm like, hey, Rory. And then I think it was what, last, was it last March or something that I was like, hey, we're making a video. I can't remember. Was it? It's been, oh my goodness, it's been a blur, huh? Um, yeah, I don't even remember. That how first that video that we did, I, I contemplating resigning. <laughs> I, was I gonna, remember I was you put a quit. costume on and a big beard. And yeah, a yeah, I had. Like you, you hid. I hid as on camera. As much as you possibly could. Yeah. So. I think and it worked for the thing, but it, it, the whole point was like, I am not doing this. I was such an anxiety about getting on camera that I wanted yep. to quit. And I was like, I've only been here two weeks. <laughs> right? Like, guess I'm what? Like, You're in a music video and dancing and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. I said, stuff. no, I, that is not. I said, I went from office space to like in a closed office to this. And like, I'm supposed to be in sales. And my job is to do this. You know, it, was, like, it was funny. I was thinking about that video. It's like we were dancing and do stuff. And we had an actual Dallas Cowboy cheerleader as part of the group. Like, oh, that yeah. wasn't fair to any of us for us to be trying to dance. <laughs> I'm like, wow, we all got so, shut up. But so if anybody right now is, is thinking about making video, one, it is going to change your life, but I'll tell you for the better for me overall. Like there are parts of it that, yes, I There's gonna spend be way too much time. My poor family, I'm always filming something. There's an overwhelming pressure to film everything because mm -hmm. I might need it later. And like we go yeah. to events and we go to like Six Flags or we go somewhere and I'm wanting to film. Yes. There was, I did go with my daughter and I spent one trip. I didn't film anything. Did, did she say, are you going to film that? Yes, a couple Several of times. Several times I had yeah. family like, are you going to film yeah. that? It's like, and I, no. Even Angie and I went to an Elton John concert. Went to something, and I'm like, I'm not filming today. She goes, well, you have to film today. I'm like, well, okay, I guess I'm filming <laughs> So it is, so I, it like I a, try to balance. So a, a video fast. <laughs> but I'm anxious when I'm not filming. I just like, I should have my camera out. Yeah. Because it was like the one thing. I'm like, but sometimes, you know that, that movie. Because you're her. like, oh. That would have been a million views, yeah, that one right there. And you never know. Like, so I had that Walter Mitty movie, right? It's one of yeah. my favorite movies. Yeah. And um, at the very end, Sean Penn's with uh, Ben Stiller, and uh -huh. they're they're getting a picture of the snow cap. Right. Right? I don't know if you remember the scene, but they're sitting there, and they're like, it rarely get, lets itself be seen. It doesn't know anyone. He's got the camera on there, and like, Shh, here he comes, and he looks, and then the camera, and he's got the camera on, the snow cap comes out of the, this corner. He looks at the camera. And he never takes a picture. And Ben says, why aren't, are you going to take the picture? He goes, no, sometimes I just like being in the moment. And I'm like, <laughs> wow. And it kind of gives you this thing. Yeah. It's like sometimes we miss life by being with the camera. Yep. Right? And well, I always so, tell people, I'm like, I don't, I'll have to go back and watch it later to see what I experienced while I was there because I right. have no idea. And I just. Because I'm so focused on focusing but it. But sometimes we were like, if I just had that on film. Oh, man. I said, you would have seen what I saw. That's it. And that's like, some of the fun is just sharing yeah, how so, we see the world. And, and a lot of like, and so just, you know, change my life personally for the better is like a lot of our families don't see each other all the time like we used to, yep. right? And so a lot of the, my, who I thought was my biggest critics end up being some of my biggest fans because they don't get to see uh, the stuff that we do all the time. Right. So now they're getting to see, you know, I know you're on camera a lot. I'm not on camera as much as you, but uh, like my kids are going to be on camera. Right, the things they do, and then and my wife not on camera at all. But was, we'll do these things, and they'll see like they're living our experience. Absolutely, right through the eyes of us. And it's like they think it's funny because I thought it was funny. Or they, uh, I, I have a family member, and I, I talk about it a lot. Where they used to call me like almost every day, and yeah. then I started making videos, and then I didn't hear from them for a while. And I called. I'm like, "How you doing? I'm like, doing great." I'm like, "I haven't talked to you for a while." And they're like, "Oh yeah." And then they just ran all the videos, through yeah. all the videos I'd made yeah. in a month, and I'm like. They're spending time with yes. me, experiencing my experiences because yeah. they're watching it. And they love it. And they, they love it. And they, they feel connected. And that's what's, that's on the business side why it's changed so much is people feel connected with you. And yeah. once they feel connected with you, they trust you. 
They feel like they know you and they like you. I got so and many that's hugs. that's what changes your business. We right? get hugs, right? Like, I was like, yeah. I mean, I'm not like, I'm not an anti-hugger, but I'm not like a hugger. I'm, a hugger. I'm not going to come and give you a hug. But if you come at me with a hug, I'll, I'll embrace that. Right? Yeah. So I'm a like, hugger, so I have to be careful. So, um, so yeah, so like I get people come up and give me hugs and like we've never actually met. Right. This is the thing. It's a stranger. To me, I'm on this side of the, the film, right? Yeah. I don't know everybody. Right. There it comes like to to them, I know you. Right. To me, you're str- you're a stranger. You're a stranger. Stranger danger, right? Not danger to, necessarily. To them, you are like a buddy because they've yeah. watched you. So it happens a lot, right? Not a lot. It happens where we get recognized. Yeah, we just like, that it's, it's, but it happened is... today, and, and I thought yeah. it was funny because we were together, and it doesn't always happen when we're yeah. together. Like, it's definitely. just kind of a taste of a celebrityism, what they get all the time. But I could see how it can kind of get annoying. I could imagine. <laughs> yeah, like right now we love it and enjoy it. I could imagine where... Because I think it's because it's business. We're only in our in our business. In our like, business. Outside yeah. our business. No I couldn't us. imagine like wearing my Crocs and sweats and just want to go grab a bite to eat and people come up and want to take pictures with you all the time. That would be crazy. But yeah. how how <laughs> how crazy is it when it's someone all of a sudden you see that look on their face when they're like they clicked. Oh, now I know where I know you. And they've been from. staring at you for a while and you're like Yes. And you're just like, Man, they are staring at me. Is there something on my, my lip or like, so there's you know, a, it's funny, there's a, there's a, a test you can run on yourself that people used to talk about as far as, are you a pessimist or an optimist? And what do you think about yourself and where's your confidence level? And the question was, if you walked into a room and everybody turned and looked at you, what is your first thought? My personal first thought is, well, they think <laughs> they know me. I have friends that are like, there must be something on my well, face there it is. Or, like, or why are they looking at me? It's negative, right? Mine's always positive. Right? Well, that's, but it is weird when someone keeps looking at you and you're like, so that's is there the something thing, is on like my you face? Knowing your environment, right? If I walk yeah. into a rodeo and everyone's staring at me, I'm like, yeah, I did not dress the part, <laughs> right? That's why they're staring. I at guess me. you have to know your room. And where right? So if I walk into, <laughs> like, I don't know, a, a, a real estate meeting yeah. and they all look at me, I, I would see, right? So I'm like, ah, okay, I'm this not... because of this. But I'm like, I always, but my brain's always like, it's because of this, right? And yeah. I'm trying to figure it out, but you're right. So I'm like, I'm trying to like dissect, like they're doing this because of this, right? And then I'll say, hey, are they staring at me because of this? And someone's <laughs> like, no, your hair's sticking up. <laughs> I'm like, ah, I knew it. Oh, and so, nah, you know, I think it's because of this. Yeah, because my hair can't stick up anyway. <laughs> yeah, I know you're lying. I don't have enough hair to stick up. <laughs> it's but like yeah, your so fly's it's, undone. But that's what's crazy business wise is when you go in. So it's like a real estate agent and you go yeah. and do a listing appointment and they smile at you because they know you. And it, I wish more you know, people would know me. We ask that question all the time about, like, have you ever had a favorite TV show? Have you ever had a favorite character on that show? Do you feel like you guys are friends and know each other? And you do because we just bond with people that way. So by doing videos, oh, I think, people bond with us that way. I think way. we do that all the time just in general. It's like, I know this guy. Yeah. Do you? Uh, you know him, but does he know you? Yeah. And that's, that's <laughs> so, the weirdest part. Right? It's like. It's not who you know, who knows so you. So far, it's all been positive. I haven't had Never. a real negative. The only negative. I'm not very controversial anyway. I'm probably too vanilla. I probably get, like, I probably, plain. I don't know, maybe on camera I'm a little more vanilla. I don't know. I, I don't know what I say. It's a blend. Yeah. It comes out. So I don't go so. back and watch. Yeah, be this like, would be better off. Just like, that thing you'll on. have to tell me what it says later. Because someone will say, so, remember that time you did that thing? You said that thing? I'm like, nope. I don't remember. So coming from a filmmaking background, and writing was how I started, writing okay. scripts. And uh, I would write really fast. And I remember one time my sister, who was like my, my business partner, <laughs> we'd make movies. I already know where you're going. And she would time, she's like, man, remember, and she's talking about some script. I'm like, ooh, that sounds really good. Who wrote that? She goes, you wrote that. I'm like, I did? <laughs> I'm like, wow, that was like an Einstein moment, I guess. That, was really, that sounds really like a really yes, good moment. I'm like, good. I don't remember. Someone should do that. Someone should make it. So much to make that go. You yeah, did. I did. <laughs> yeah, it's been sitting in your file cabinet for yes. six years. I think I have 28 scripts that are just kind it's of like sitting there. like The ones that just like, it's ended in that like dot and just, yeah. and then finished. Like, oh, well, we have a lot of short film. We should film some of them. You know, I was thinking like, we, it would be cool to take some, act more, out a little more stuff. script and act some stuff out. Just, just your old stuff. And you know how people will go on like TikTok and they'll do the entire movie at 60 seconds at a time. That's what we should do with we your old scripts. We should just make some old scripts. We should like scripts. Uh, and then we can the have crib. like anybody that wants to be like in it. We'll call it scripts in the crib. That's it. Like Corey scripts from yeah, the crib. Yeah, that's right. That's We're bringing them out of the crib. That's like crib. we're just going to do them. We're going to act them out. Pulling them from the graveyard. It's like a Halloween special. And it'll just be a whole channel based based on like Corey's old scripts. And we're just going to act them out. It would be funny because then like anybody could, we could just bring people yeah. in. A five minute movie. That'd be fun. We're just like. 
Anything. Or it still can be the hour long. It's just a, uh, a minute at a time. That's true. It was an act that one. That will take us a while. Scene one. That'll and take just, us a while. Yeah, it's plenty of content. Like, yeah, Corey, you content. Ate, lost all your hair in that, in that one hour movie. <laughs> yeah, I did. It took us eight years to film it's it. It's been eight years worth. So Tell if you. someone came to you right now and said, okay, for my business, say real estate, whatever, um, should I do video? Will it change my life for the, for the good or the bad? They're sitting there trying to decide what's your answer. I would say you should have already been doing it. Yes. You're late to the game. You're late. I said, but there's hope. Yeah. You can start today. Yes. And you need to dive in just like we did, right? So we just yes. kind of just dove in and figured it out. And like, because we just play, right? It didn't work. I would say fail forward. This is a situation yeah. where you can fail forward and no one cares. Yep. Isn't it a little weird, though, that we've done what we did? I mean... We've really put ourselves out there. When I did that character mm. with the blue hair, yeah. <laughs> that was really putting myself out there. I look back now and I'm like, wow, that was like pretty yeah, I, pretty bold. I've done a few things. Did I just don't things? like the stuff I I don't go back and watch because I just don't I mean, I don't I kinda kinda understand how Johnny Depp feels, right? Like I don't watch my own movies. I just don't like myself in them, but but I'll do it, right? Every once in a while there's one where I'm like, nailed it and I'll watch that one like ten times. Like, really, I, I just was... filmed that one, and but it's not very often. Usually, I film it and I go. How is it that just film it, get it done, put it out there? And... I because I I think when when you're editing at the detail that I feel like I need to edit them, as I hear it over and over, and once I've edited it for like 20, 30 minutes, I don't want to hear another peep out of it. I don't want to hear it again. Like okay. I'm done, I hit post, and then there'll people tell me I loved it, and I said which part, and they they explain it to me, and I go, oh, I remember doing that. So you're like a Hollywood blockbuster editor. I'm like a B movie editor. I'm like close enough. Let's just oh it yeah, go. I, like a, let's get that movie on the shelf. It's a little bit of my some patience. I get a little frustrated. I I edited something for somebody one time and they didn't really like it. I have to tell people until, I'm like, look, this is a creative and, and that's subjective. Yeah, and you may not like anything I do. Yeah, and if you do, great. And if you don't, that's okay. But you're not going to be able to usually. I'm not going to probably change enough mm. to get what you like if we're that far apart. Like it's probably best. Yeah, to if if the vision for both people aren't even overlapping, it's going to be it's, tough. It's I thought, work. one myself and others thought it was stinking awesome, what I did, and it was not uh, received the same way. And that that's always and that hurts a little. Yeah, it was like, but I made like, oh. it better. As like the only I, I told remember I remember the video specifically, and you did make it better. right. And I said. I literally, like, the only way to make this better is to reshoot the whole thing. <laughs> it's this or reshoot the whole thing. Yeah. Otherwise, this shouldn't be seen by anybody. This should be locked up in the Disney vault. And but there's like a... We don't say that often either. It was... It was I don't even was, know do how, like... But the, here was the cool we thing about that. We didn't film it. We were trying to help somebody after the... They had some... The they flight. took the footage. The great part about this whole thing was that my experience learning how to make that happen, I gained. Yes. Right? The knowledge of how she to She did it. not no. gain any of that. Right? I gained it. It's mine. You, she, learned, you learned how to do a lot. Right. That. So when I learned that uh, for two hours editing that, it was two hours. I timed it. Yeah. I said, this is going to take this much time. And I timed it. I was like, I was short by two minutes. It was an hour and 58 minutes. I timed it. And so... When I did that, I said, I learned this, and you cannot repossess my knowledge from this. Yeah. Like, you guys like, I don't like it. Uh, give me that knowledge back. It was a great She didn't learn, right? She didn't learn. It was a great exercise in, in learning. It was great. Yeah. Thing. So I'm like, I was cool with it. And I was like, look, I mean, I would imagine that, like, um, like editors that do video it should be paid well. And if they get really good at it, you're not paying them for their time anymore. You're paying for their experience. And then the artistic impression. Right. It's like, and so, and, and so now you see that now you see credits on films, well, right? And you see, look at it too, when they want you to do something that they didn't film, like I can't create something you didn't shoot. It's like, here's footage. Good luck. Yeah. Hey, it's, here it is. And like, it looks awful. I'm going, Man, I thought it looked great, and everyone I showed it to, like, I can't believe you can't got believe, that from yeah, that. Yeah, I can't believe you made that from that. That's that? I'm going That's why it's always good to ask good questions about what do you want What do you want at the end? Like, what do you want this to look like? Always. I want it to look just like what it is right now. I will work. never So okay. do so, that again. So <laughs> I'll just say we're going to refilm. Yeah, I agree. So for we'll everybody just... that's thinking about getting into 
They yes. Can do it. And my only suggestion to to is to make sure you're balanced. Organize your time. Yes. So like if you're always filming, and and just organize your time would be um, would be a, a I think a no, good pro I think tip, that's a good. Right? I would say you're always filming for B-roll or just to have footage things you see that are interesting. But if you're filming something specific, yeah, like film it, get it done. So like it, do it and, and post if, it. And if go. you can do it right then, do it. Do it. Yes. Don't overthink it. Nope. Do it, post it, done. It's, I've got one right now I shot last night, and I had all how I wanted to put together, and today I can't quite get back into that okay, same so spot. Okay, so you do – so, so my then thing I'm is, like, oh, my okay. inspiration at okay. that moment and my – the aesthetic or the uh, – what do they call it the, when you uh, – is it aesthetic? I think it's – okay, so when, yeah. when you feel it like then, I yeah. feel it, it looked great and this and that, then tomorrow I said, oh, that was dumb. <laughs> well, right now I'm like, right? why did I film some of it the way I did? Because at that point I knew how I was going to put it together, and today I'm not feeling yeah. the same vibe, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. now I got footage I can't necessarily. Use I get moody. I I'm like, it. I was in the mood then, yeah, and now I don't think it's well, special anymore. And being creative, it may take two or three days sometimes to come back to it. So I will suggest I've done that too. if you film it and you're in the zone and you can do it, finish it, edit it, post it, done. You know what? Most of my videos are done when I'm drinking my coffee in the morning. Okay. Yeah. That's just right? what I do. Like I get up in the morning. I just like I had that one video. I'll take it. I'll go through my stock and go. You know what? This is good. Um, because I'll, I'll see a couple. I use I use Instagram and TikTok as inspiration on other people. It's one. Right. I like the way that looks, and I'll go in and I'll take one of my videos and I kind of like not like like completely it, but I'll like I'll put my version of that on there. And then like between I start a cup of coffee, like I mean start it like start the cup, sure, yeah, and then finish my cup. It's posted and done. Yep. And that's the, the, that's my time. That's why I say organize your time. So I you think do that. I think the process. Your favorite part is the editing. Mine's posting. And well, if I could talk as well as you, I would. I would probably do more. more. Yeah, I because would like talk I, well, though, because I've done it a lot. I know, and I tell people like, hey, you, you're, if you're not going to be on film, you need to be at least in the pro, in the platform so yeah. that you can practice. Yes. And the thing is, and I've done some, and I scripted my own, and you've seen them, and and I think they're okay. But there's there's definitely some growing in that, and I just need to do. I've gotten practice. way like if I go back and look, I've gotten way better, and it's just so. because of the volume. It's just because of doing it. Just doing it so but, much. But yeah, I think I've been doing video for now I, for twenty uh, some odd years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's been so like I got two a way, years. I got a way head start. <laughs> yeah, two years. I wing it. <laughs> so, All right. People don't want to know, but make anyway. video. Yes. Make video. Yes. Make video. Yes. Yes. It, it, it's it's a must. I have to. At this point, there's too much noise. There's too much noise. Like, well, you're going to lose to other people who are not good at whatever you do just because they know how to make a video and people think they're famous. And because they think they're famous, they think they're the expert and they're going to go oh, with that's them. That's all on the topic. And you're going to lose it. Let's people, do that next time. People, like, I would say, just so we have it on record, yeah, for the next time is that people think they're this, they're this. And like, I see them all the time. I see them all the time. How can yep. I be successful like them? I'm going, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. As a real estate agent, do you think that the people are successful just because they're on camera? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, because they're comparing real estate, real estate. And I'm like, no, 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 no. They're on there so much. You have to wonder, are they actually selling houses? Yep. I'm like, so. Well, and you just. Maybe they are, but I'm just saying like. But the dangerous part is the general population sees that and thinks that's it. Right. So I said, don't compare yourself with others. Yeah. Do what you can do. Yeah. If you if it's if it's one a week, if it's start one your, a day, just start your journey. You gotta start hitting record. Yep. And just Agreed. do it in practice. Agreed. Yeah.